the familiar BMO Harris name on the Bradley Center won't be the sponsor name on the Bucks' new home. Will you continue to pursue uh, naming rights for the new arena? No. We are not going to have our name on the top of the building. We are going to have our name all over inside. While BMO won't be getting naming rights for the building, it is ramping up its partnership with the Bucks in other ways. BMO Harris Bank as a founding partner of our new arena. The new deal includes community projects and sponsorship of the BMO Club, a 1,000 capacity fan venue on the lower level of the new arena. We also learned that opening day for the new arena will be almost exactly one year from now. And when it does open, the first event won't be a Bucks game. I think we're targeting early, early fall for an opening. Um, so, you know, it's our expectation that we will have non-Bucks events uh, opening the arena. You know what it'll be yet? I do, yes. <laughs> Can we do what it is? <laughs> no. The team is not ready to reveal that just yet, but Fagan did suggest that the grand opening might be more than just a single event. We want to make this so special um, that we are really working hard on not just opening it with one thing. And so anticipation builds for a yet unnamed opening act in a still unnamed arena. In Milwaukee, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. We will, of course, keep you posted. BMO Harris joins Johnson Controls and Freighter and the Medical College as founding partners in the new arena. The Bucks expect to add three to five more.